Have you ever tried to text or use your phone in a cellular dead area? Well, now there's a solution for that from T-Mobile and Starlink. And the gist of it is it's putting cell towers in space to eliminate coverage gaps on the cellular map. Very exciting and interesting technology, but it does come with some major caveats. Stay tuned for more. Hi, I'm Andy with the Mobile Internet Resource Center, and today we're going to be talking about an exciting new technology that promises to merge satellite connectivity with cellular connectivity. And this is called direct-to-cell technology and also what the FCC calls supplemental coverage from space. So those are the two terms used to describe this technology. So what is it exactly? Well, essentially, it is using satellites to act like cell towers to fill in coverage gaps in a terrestrial cellular network. That sounds very exciting. So you would have cell coverage potentially everywhere, even where there aren't cell towers. However, this technology is still very new, and it does have some significant downsides, trade-offs, and technical challenges that have yet to be overcome. Now, what uh, is going on currently is that T-Mobile and Starlink have an agreement that they originally uh, made in 2022 to provide this uh, technology for T-Mobile's network. Essentially, uh, Starlink version 2 satellites, this is a new uh, uh, type of Starlink satellite that is starting to uh, go into orbit, also has a secondary payload that has a large antenna and a cellular radio that operates on band two. And this will be able to provide that uh, cellular coverage in areas that aren't currently served by the T-Mobile network. Now, the big trade-off with this is that uh, space is very far away and the uh, capabilities of these satellites for cellular coverage are very limited compared to a terrestrial cell tower. So especially initially, the bandwidth is going to be extremely low and is going to be shared across a wide area. So Elon Musk has recently uh, said that it's about 10 megabits per second for the footprint, which is many square miles, and that is shared among all the users in that. So initially, the only uh, option that will be available is text messaging, um, and T-Mobile and Starlink hope to offer a voice service as well as limited data service in the future. But to do that, they will have to orbit more satellites because right now there's only a few satellites that offer this capability that are in orbit. And the other thing they'll need to do is uh, do some testing to work out any technical challenges or kinks. Now to do that, uh, T-Mobile is starting a beta test program for this new service that is available for business and postpaid consumer customers. You can sign up right now at a link on T-Mobile's website uh, to opt into this beta program which will begin in early 2025 when this service initially rolls out. Now, T-Mobile says there that not everybody who signs up for the beta is going to uh, be allowed to have access. They said they're going to prioritize first responders, and they're also going to prioritize people who have what they call optimized devices. They haven't explained exactly what optimized devices are yet, more information will be forthcoming in early 2025 when the beta service is launched. And initially, this will only provide text messaging uh, via satellite, via the cellular capabilities of Starlink satellites in areas where there isn't cellular coverage. And as more satellites get orbited and the uh, testing goes well, more people will be allowed to uh, join the service and uh, more capabilities will be added. That's what T-Mobile and Starlink have promised. Now, as far as how much this is going to cost, uh, initially there's going to be no cost. If you are in the beta test, it will be free included on your plan. Uh, previously, the CEO of T-Mobile has said that most of their 
uh, postpaid and business plans will include uh, this satellite uh, supplemental coverage as a perk with the plan for no extra charge and that other basic plans will be able to add it for a small fee. These comments were made a couple of years ago. T-Mobile has not commented recently on this, so we don't know if that has changed. But stay tuned, we will report uh, if there is any change in the uh, cost or other features of this new service. So that sounds pretty good, even though it is a limited service, at least initially. Um, there are technical challenges to overcome, and uh, the big plan that T-Mobile and Starlink would both like to do is have higher bandwidth service that would allow for things like video streaming in the future. But that is going to require some regulatory approvals and changes from the FCC. There are a lot of people who are, uh, are opposed to that, and one of the big challenges of providing this supplemental coverage from space are concerns about interference. You don't want the uh, cellular signals that are coming from the cell towers in space to interfere with the uh, cellular signals of the terrestrial network. So that is a technical challenge that's still being uh, worked out. We'll have to see what happens with that in the future. Now Starlink and T-Mobile are not the only two companies working on this technology. Starlink also has agreements with cellular providers in other countries to provide this same supplemental coverage from space. And it is expanding those options uh, with other carriers around the world. Uh, additionally, Verizon and AT&T are working on their own plans with a company called AST Mobile, which will uh, provide a similar space-based cellular service in the future. However, uh, their efforts are uh, currently way behind where Starlink and T-Mobile are at. Now, additionally, there are other types of communications from space. For example, you can get regular Starlink service, Starlink broadband service that uses the Starlink antennas and provides broadband speeds. This is a completely different and separate service from this supplemental coverage from space, which uses cellular signals. The Starlink broadband uh, service cannot go directly to your phone or requires a Starlink antenna. It's much higher bandwidth thanks to that antenna and thanks to the many more uh, Starlink satellites that support the Starlink broadband system compared to the number of satellites that support the supplemental cellular coverage from space. So it's important not to confuse Starlink broadband with this new capability. This is a secondary capability that provides minimal cellular service to fill gaps in the terrestrial network. It is not intended to be a broadband service that will replace Starlink's broadband option. Now also, Apple, Android, and other companies have uh, other communication options from space, for example, Apple has uh, texting and emergency services via the Global Star network. This does not use cellular signals, um, but it is a very similar option in terms of capabilities, providing basic messaging and voice service in some cases, and that will be expanded into the future. So this is a uh, very new and emerging development of providing these communication options from space that can go directly to your cell phone. And we're gonna see a lot of growth in this area in the future. And we will be covering all those options here at the Mobile Internet Resource Center. So we would really like to hear what you think about this new T-Mobile and Starlink option. If you are a T-Mobile customer, are you going to sign up for the uh, beta program and try to test this out for yourself? Um, we'd like to hear if supplemental coverage from space, eliminating those coverage gaps for your cell phone, especially for emergencies, if that would be uh, important to you, please leave us a comment below and let us know what you think. We also have a lot more content on all types of satellite uh, technology and satellite 
communication and satellite internet access on our website, as well as here at our YouTube channel. We encourage you to check those out. And we do have more detailed and technical information and guidance for our members. It is our members who fund everything we do here at the Mobile Internet Resource Center, allow us to make these videos and allow us to do a lot of testing of mobile internet gear, mobile internet plans, and uh, provide expert advice to our members when they want to create their own mobile internet system. So if membership is something you're interested in, if you want to go deeper into all things mobile internet, we encourage you to check out our membership program. A link is in the description below. But for now, that's it. It's a very exciting time for space and cellular technology. Um, but we appreciate you watching. We hope you stay connected and we'll see you next time. These videos are brought to you by our premium members, our mobile internet aficionados. They make it possible for us to track this news and create these videos. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe to our channel, or better yet, consider becoming a member yourself.